Hey everyone, welcome to the Poi Mechanic channel. My name is Beacon, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put play or home poi knobs onto a thicker rope. In this particular setup, I'm using a 7 16 inch rope, and it can be difficult to get on if you don't know the right technique. So uh, first off on the knobs, uh, the play version two is what I have here on my right, and then a home poi on my left. The play version one, which are hard, really hard to find, are practically identical to the uh, home poi knob. The difference being that the back has a bigger hole on the home poi and play version one than the version two. The bigger hole is nice because you can put a uh, puck on your rope a lot easier, especially with these thicker ropes. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, other side is the what makes it difficult to put it into these knobs. Um, on the play version two, the rope hole and this hole is the same size, but this is about uh, about that thick is how far it goes down before it opens up to that size hole. Where on this one, it goes down halfway down the knob before it opens up, meaning that it's a much more tighter fit in this version. But I'll show you how to do it on both. Now, if you have what's called a solid braid rope, meaning a rope that doesn't have a core, what you want to do is uh, tape it up nice and tight and use like an electric tape because it really it makes it so you can constrict the fibers really well. Then cut it at a angle. I use a razor blade. Uh, it does an easy job at that. Um, once you get it cut at an angle, rewrap it with tape um, just to make sure that there's no fibers sticking out. The rest of the process will be the same as on this once I get past how to do it with a core. Now this is a uh, rope that has a core like the VPC rope and a jacket. So you want to make sure that your other end that you're going to be sticking through is a nice clean cut so you don't have a bunch of fibers sticking out. And then on the uh, core on the other side, pull it out. I usually pull it out, you know, three or four inches and then pinch the rope. And then uh, you're going to also pinch with this other hand and you're going to pull all the way down till you get to the end. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull the core back. Right now, the core is right around there, which is about an inch and a half or so back. And you'll want to have it at least that far back. Now, you're going to want to uh, wrap it with tape. And as I said, electric tape is the best. And start back here about three inches back on this. And I'll show you why you want to go back that far here in a second and wrap it really nice and tight and then when you get down here to where the core is not in the rope anymore you're really going to want to get this part especially tight because this is going to go into your handle first and you want it to you know keep its shape so wrap it a few times and then come back down i did a horrible job at that but whatever like that now, trust me when I say using chapstick on this is going to make it a lot easier, especially if you have this style of handle, but uh, don't put too much on there. Um, chapstick or some kind of uh, lube, but you don't want to put so much on there that it will uh, transfer onto your rope because that'll make it collect dust a lot easier. Now, first I'll show you how to do it on the play knob, which is a lot easier. Um, if you're going through the rope side, just press it like that and then just twist as you're pushing it on. And once you get to the rope, you're probably gonna wanna feel like you can just pull this down. Um, I wouldn't do that uh, because if you pull it just straight down, since this part right here is so thin, it will cut a cog cave like that and it'll give rope burn on this. So once you get it down there and then you pull back like this, it's gonna have like this unsightly uh, rope burned ring around there. So twist the rope and the handle at the same time and slowly move it down. Now, on this handle here, um, I'm gonna do it from the back side because that's usually the harder one to do. Also make sure that you have lube on there. I might do a little bit more since it might've wiped off right there. And then the reason you have this long a tail now is to get far enough in here that you can now grab onto this if you need to once you get it that far. So just start pushing it in there. And if it doesn't really wanna go, um, Get yourself some needle nose pliers and pinch down, like put them inside the handle a little bit, pinch uh, down on it and then twist and then come back, reset. Do that a couple times. If you can do it all the way down until it gets all the way through, that's good. But if you can't, you can come to the other end and then twist. But make sure you hold on to this really nice and tight because if you don't and this slips out or the tape breaks loose because you didn't wrap it enough, you can grab a fiber 
and it will pull the fiber and it'll make it pull all the way down the rope and it makes it you know, so it doesn't look good anymore. So once you get to the point where you can, you can't really twist and push anymore, what I do is put my thumb on the pliers somewhere and then use this, uh, these two fingers like a syringe and then push like that. And then there you go. Now, if you didn't happen to get the tape far enough back on the rope here, uh, once you're pushing it in, if you're just using the back of the rope to push it, it's going to do that. So you'll want to make sure that you get it far enough on the rope that it will come out the other side so you can at least pinch onto it and then pull. So anyways, that is how you do that. If you have any comments or questions, do let me know. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and have a good one.